this is the first question i am going to take on projection of line the question is the line ab is 75 mm long and it is 30 degree and 40 degree inclined to hp and vp respectively means the true length of the line ab has been given this is the true length of line ab has been given this is what we can say true length of line ab has been given and which is inclined at an angle 30 degree and 40 degree with respect to hp and vp now end a is 12 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp so we have to draw the projections and they have given line is in first quadrant so when we talk about the hp and vp so what we are talking about this is our horizontal plane this is our vertical plane so over here the line is inclined to both hp and vp so this will be like in this particular way this is inclined to this also this hp also and the line is also inclined to vp also so like this way the position of line 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 will be like this way so let us go for the drawing of the projections so what we will do first we will draw a reference line which is known as xy line this is our reference line now at the same time we will draw a vertical line a vertical line like this and we will mark we will mark this 12 mm and 10 mm 12 mm above hp and 10 mm in front of vp so this is our hp and this is our vp above x xy line p we will have a horizontal plane and uh, below xy line we have the vertical plane so from this point we have to take 12 mm and 10 mm 12 mm above hp that means this is the 12 mm above hp and 10 mm below hp that means this is 10 mm in front of vp or in vp now we have been given the angle also 30 degree and 40 degree so what we can do in that case for marking the angle what we can do we have to draw the reference line through this particular point and through this particular point for drawing the angle now by using the protector we will mark 30 degree and 40 degree 30 degree with respect to sp and 40 degree with respect to vp so let us mark 30 degree and 40 degree angle with respect to sp and vp so th this 30 degree with respect to hp means will be marking 30 degree over here 30 degree like in this way and 40 degree with respect to vp that means this is a 40 degree with respect to vp 10 20 30 and this is 40 so this is how we have marked 30 degree and 40 degree with respect to hp and vp now we will draw the line passing through this 30 degree line and this 40 degree line and at the same time we will mark 75 mm also because the true length has been given to us now we can mark 75 mm from this particular line on this particular line and on this particular because this will be our true length and let us give the naming also this will be a dash and this will be a let the line has been given as ab so in top view we use we use ab without uh, any suffix and in front view we use dash and in side view we use double dash so for that we use a dash b dash b1 dash like that now let us mark 75 mm so this 
will be our 75 mm this is our 75 mm and this over here this is our 75 mm so let us dark this 75 mm as you have located so this will this is our true length this is our true length and this is our true length so this the naming will be over here b dash b dash but this is not the actual front to end top view so we will use the suffix one over here no dash will be coming this will be b1 in top view we won't use any dash in front view we use dash now for locating for locating the front view and top view this is what has been given to us and we have plotted we have been given the angle 30 degree and the angle 40 degree with respect to hp and vp respectively this is 30 degree which has been given to us and this is 40 degree which has been given to us and the length true length of the line ab has been given to us so we have marked 75 mm at an angle 30 degree true length and we have marked 75 mm at an angle 40 degree which is also the true length in top view this is the true length this is the true length now we will go for the front view and top view how the line will look like in front view and how the line will look like in top view so for that what we will do we what we can do we have two situations we have two cases what we can do we can come below by using this particular line up to this line and at the same time we also know that the front view point will lie on this particular trace line of b1 similarly this is the trace line of b2 so what we can do we can take this as a center this as a radius and we can draw the arc like this so wherever it cuts the trace this is known as the trace of b1 and this is also the trace of or we can say b1 dash so we have to come vertically below up to this point up to this horizontal line which is passing through point a and from here from this particular point we have to take this much radius in the rounder and a as a center and we have to draw the arc wherever this arc cuts this horizontal line which is also known as the trace of this line b1 we have to stop and we have to simply join these two lines this a and this particular point so this is our top view and for locating the front view we can follow the same rule from here we have to go vertically up like in this way and now this much radius in the rounder and a dash as a center and we have to draw the arc we have to draw the arc like in this way you can see so wherever it cuts the trace of this this line b1 dash simply we have to join so that gives the front view front view will be a dash b dash and top view will be a and b so this is our actual front view and this is our actual actual top view this is our actual top view so what we have done over here this is now uh, let us take the quick overview we have been given the true length and uh, angle 30 degree and 40 degree so what we have done and the distance also we have given 12 mm and 10 mm this is 12 mm this is 10 mm first of all we have drawn this reference line x y then we have drawn this vertical line and from this point we have marked 12 mm and 10 mm and from this point at an angle 30 degree we have marked 75 degree which will be known as b1 dash and from here from point a 
at an angle 40 degree we have marked 75 as 75 has been given so 75 has been marked initially so both true length has been located in front view and in top view now for locating the actual front view and top view what we have done we have we have come below okay we have come below vertically like this come below vertically like this we have to go vertically like this and then we have to draw the arc like this then directly join the point where wherever it intersects the horizontal line that gives the front view and joining of the line ab gives the top view now one more thing over here that when we join these two line directly we can join these two line directly we can join these two line directly also if you want we have come vertically below like this and we have drawn this arc we located it top view then directly we can go above by using this horizontal line because we want to locate the front view wherever it, it cuts the horizontal line that gives the b dash and joining of a dash to b dash will give the front view so it's not necessary that we have to draw the arc on the both side means we have to go vertically on both side on one side we can come vertically and uh, other point we can directly locate by using this vertical line so this is how we draw the projections in case of line has been given to us to project so this is this is all about this particular question if you have any doubt related to this particular question you can put your doubt or come uh, question in the comment box we will try to reply on your doubt